how are you? I've really been in the DIY spirit lately and this is something that I've had on my to-do list for a very long time. I think years. I've, I've got like a list of things I want to try and make at some point in my life <laughs> and this has been one of them for ages and I thought it would be too difficult mainly because I'm a little bit scared of like powerful cutting tools and stuff like that. I've used a chainsaw and stuff before but I just don't really trust myself with big growly things to go brrrr. I thought now would be a particularly good time to do this because as we are coming up to the Halloween season, the time where the veil between the realms of the living and the dead is at its thinnest, supposedly. I thought now would be a really good time to make Ouija board. Ooh. And this was what I was afraid of making the most, was the planchette. I was very afraid of making this, but I did it. Yay. Now if you are for some reason unfamiliar with what a Ouija board is, it's basically a divination tool that you use to communicate with ghosts. And they do tend to have a pretty bad reputation, like think people, a lot of people believe, including my nana. My nana passed away just over a year ago. I don't know, but I kept, while I was painting this, I kept getting the sense that she was like, watching me do it or something maybe i'm just being a bit silly she'd said that her mother so my great grandmother she used ouija boards but like alone in private solo seances or whatever and never really talked about it and then one day she came in and said to her family don't any of you ever go near one of those and never said what happened so whether you believe in ghosts or not that's up to you. I know it's a weird name, the word Ouija, it looks like Ouija, from the French we oui and German ja, so it basically means yes yes for some reason. There was this whole big period during the late 19th century with, with spiritualism was so in vogue. Even Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, the writer of Sherlock Holmes, was a dedicated spiritualist. So if you've had any experience with Ouija boards or if you've done seances or any of, that, any of that kind of thing and you've got any interesting stories to tell, please share them with us. I love a good spooky story, especially real ones. And speaking of stuff that's supernatural and potentially pretty scary, a word from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Shudder. Shudder.com, the online streaming service that is exclusively for scary stuff. For those of us who enjoy watching scary movies and thrillers and splatters and just spooky themed films and TV series, and if you go to Shudder.com and enter the code Black Friday, that's me, then you can try Shudder for free for 30 days. Awesome, especially as Halloween's coming up. Shudder is this massive human curated selection of films and shows. Like there's really something on there for everybody, but what I like the most about Shudder are the films and shows that you won't see anywhere else. The things that are made by them that are exclusive and they're just so good. I have yet to find anything that I don't think is good. So for example, I watched a film the other night that's just come out recently called The Wind. Oh, it was a, it was a real like, it's like an American frontier story set on the prairies. It's probably one of the only demon themed kind of things I've watched ever that wasn't just really silly. And the other thing I watched that was a Shudder exclusive is called Don't Leave Home. It was definitely something different but very very good, you know? I just, they're really really good. <laughs> one of the other things I really like about Shudder as a service is that if you don't know what you want to watch there's this thing called Shudder TV which now has like three channels I've noticed so like different themes for whatever you're in the mood for. Like, oh, I feel like watching psychological thrillers right now. Oh no, I'd rather watch people get cut into hundreds of bloody bits. I've been seeing a lot of ads for and I kind of want to have a look at the series of documentaries that's called Cursed Films. So I guess it's like a series of documentaries about certain movies that have been made that just seem to be cursed, you know, like where the, the actors have died or terrible things have happened on set. I'm like, oh, that's creepy. I, I think I can give Shudder a very good review in the sense that last time I watched it before going to bed, I had the worst nightmares all night and I woke up like, <laughs> so it did the trick. A subscription only costs $5.99 per month or $56.99 for the year. And that gives you ad-free access to stream on all your favorite devices like iOS, Android, Xbox One, etc. But like I said, if you want to see if Shudder is for you or if you want to get mentally prepared for Halloween, then after this video, go to Shudder.com and enter the code BLACK. Friday and you will get access to Shudder for free for 30 days. You're welcome. Please enjoy. There are plenty of Ouija boards or spirit boards out there, but I wanted to make my own personal one. I feel like when you're making something, you know, you're putting something of yourself into it. You're putting energy or whatever into it. So for example, I included symbolism from the tarot and also from alchemy. If you know what I'm talking about when I say tarot and alchemy symbols, for example over here on the west we have the suit of cups and the symbol for water. Here on the eastern side there are swords and the symbol for air. On the southern side we have the wands and the symbol for fire. Up in the north are pentacles and the symbol for earth. And right here in the center is the symbol of spirit. 
I just thought that was nice. I also painted on the back of the planchette those elemental symbols again. It felt very personal and nice to make this. I do have a bit of a bad reputation for like, you know, letting in bad spirits and things into your home, but the way I see it is if you do really truly believe in ghosts, ghosts are just people. They're just dead people. Just like you and me. Just like we will be one day. Hopefully not for a long time yet. I felt like rather than just buying one, like there are loads and loads of them out there, some very pretty decorative ones and stuff, but I felt like I really wanted to make my own one. Put the energy into it, put the time into it, put the love into it, and I don't feel like it's a dark tool, I don't feel like it's evil. It doesn't to me feel like a dark or scary thing whatsoever. I wouldn't really call this a tutorial, more of just inspiration or something, and I'll show you exactly what I did to make it, should you ever feel inspired to make something similar. Okay, so come and join me on my adventure of making my very own Ouija board. <gasps> At a local craft shop I found a good sized piece of wood, plus a smaller piece which I'm planning to turn into the planchette. I'm not looking forward to carving the planchette as I have never cut wood like this before, I suppose I have used a chainsaw, so this is probably easier than that. I made an extremely rough sketch of how it should look and where the elements should go. I wanted to use graphite transfer paper for this project to make it easier, i.e. printing images from the computer and tracing them directly onto the wood. However, I was unable to find any transfer paper anywhere and am therefore just going to freehand draw the whole thing. I looked at images on my laptop as a reference for some elements and measured out lines to see how big each element should be and make them even. I know there are some incredible artists out there amongst you, so please do not judge my drawing and painting skills too harshly. I am by no means an artist, but I do find this a pleasant hobby. Once I had penciled everything in, I brushed the whole thing with the tan coloured acrylic paint and dabbed it with a cotton ball to make it slightly blotchier. I then began the long process of painting on the whole design. Even more 
more than carving the planchette, I have been nervous about doing the letters. I wanted to do a black letter, but this could potentially be very untidy. Now I'm seriously wishing I had the transfer paper. I tried to freehand the letters calligraphy style, but this was going to look so bad, so I penciled them in, then painted over. Not great, but it could be worse. After many hours and much hand cramp, the board is complete. Now to make the planchette. I drew a shape onto the smaller piece of wood, and not having the ideal tools to hand, I used a small hand saw and a rotary cutting tool. What could possibly go wrong? I then drilled several holes in the center and used the rotary tool to sand it into shape. was a bit crooked but not too bad I don't think for a first time cutting wood like this. That was fun. I know that the planchette is meant to have glass or something like that in the center. What I'm thinking of doing is getting some of that like 3D dimensional magic or like liquid sculpey or that kind of thing so I could make something that wasn't glass but kind of looks like glass. Anyway it doesn't really need the glass in the middle. When it comes to divination tools it's really whether or not you believe in it. I have yet to put varnish on it but it's been too windy for me to use the spray varnish that I want to use. I want to protect it so it will last for many years to come. Hopefully it can get passed on to my children and their children. I don't know if it'll last that long but it would be a really cool heirloom. <laughs> I wonder whatever happened to my great grandmother's one. She was from Edinburgh and that's where Sir Arthur Conan Doyle was from too. So I hope you enjoyed this video whether you believe in ghosts and spooky spiritual supernatural divination -y stuff or not. I really really enjoyed making this um, despite all the hand crap. <laughs> Painting and just making stuff like that you know even if it does take a long time it's very therapeutic. I think it's good for the spirit. Good for the spirit. Oh. If you have not already done so please subscribe to my channel you know you want to you are being drawn to do so and as always take care of yourself be nice to each other stay